reader. Prepare yourself for the most impure tale ever to spring from the mind of man. Our story concerns a nymph named Justine. As pretty a maid as ever entered a nunnery. The old priest lifted her skirts high above her Venus blown. So right. Begging to be plucked. Have you actually read this book? I've memorized it. The novel's overripe style reveal it to be the work of the Marquis de Sade. And that's not all. Tell me more. He composes his prose from inside a madhouse. Careful, the ink's still wet. Conversation, like certain portions of the anatomy, always runs more smoothly when it's lubricated. I hear he's got a chisel to sharpen his teeth. <laughs> he's a writer, not a madman. What's he doing in here, then? <laughs> Most assuredly, terribly footy. Fiendishly so. A kiss for each page. It's nothing but an encyclopedia of perversions. One man killed his wife after reading them. It's a fiction, not a moral treatise. How can we know who is good and who is evil? All we can do is guard against our own corruption. Suit it. Silence the Marquis, or the assassin will be shut down by order of the Emperor. Napoleon for bringing a man to his senses. A few more months of this and you'll be fine. You start this little game. You finish it. Humbly. Certain feelings have been lost in your voice. If you're going to martyr yourself, Abbe, do it for God, not a chambermaid. With the devil, you'll pay the devil's price. I'm right in! Take this beast back to his cave! Do you mean to take us all down with you? Don't come any closer, Abbott. God's watching. <laughs>